What is up YouTube, it's your boy Trenner with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about solo shuffle and I'm gonna teach you how to get better at it. Grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back and enjoy the video. So the main issue is that people treat solo shuffle the same way as 3v3. They are two completely different brackets and you should play it completely different opposed to each other. Solo shuffle dampening ramps up way quicker and you're, you, you're not on voice with your teammates. In 3v3, it's a way slower paced game and there's a lot more better trading going on. Now you need to utilize this uh, fact to your advantage when you're playing a healer or a DPS. And you should always try to react for yourself unless your healer tells you in the starting room hey listen i will drink it first for you or i will do this for you and then you can kind of trust on it if no strategies is being discussed in the starting room you need to play your own game it's called solo shuffle for a reason all right so you don't want to expect your teammates to peel for you when i play solo shuffle it's like me against the rest i don't have a team i need to carry it myself and the only person I can count on is myself. Now, that's one important thing that you have to know. And also, dampening ramps up way quicker in Solo Shuffle. So that means I feel like DPS is a very important key factor in this meta. Um, the player or the team that does the most damage most of the time just wins. So focusing on doing maximum damage as a DPS is something that is really, really beneficial to the outcome of the game. Because when I play on my Demon Hunter, I go full bananas. I don't really care if they pop defensive cooldowns or not. I just do the maximum damage that I can do in that moment. And I just try to force as much cooldowns as possible. And many times they will overlap or they will just simply die on the next go because they have to use way too many cooldowns. They cannot coordinate it properly. And I'm not going to sit there, try to fake hunt and try to bait cooldowns and do all of that. All that shiny stuff that I would do in 3v3. I literally go as hard as possible. I try to trinket the first CC that even lands on me. Um, just to stay offensive, if I get CC'd on my uh, burst, I trinket it, I go instantly in, get my damage out, and in threes, I would do the complete different thing, you know? I would not just trinket offensively like that unless I can make a kill, and that is one big thing in Solo Shuffle. What's up, gamer? Are you ready for an exciting and fast-paced multiplayer game that you can play on your phone anytime, anywhere? Look no further than Clash Royale, the real-time multiplayer game that lets you collect and upgrade dozens of cards featuring the Clash of Clans troops, spells and defenses you know and love. In Clash Royale you'll take on players from around the world as you knock the enemy king and princesses from their towers to defeat your opponent and win trophies, crowns and glory in the arena. Choose your favorite Clash characters, including the royales, princes, knights, baby dragons and many more, each with their own unique abilities and strength. The game is really awesome and they always have updates and new content, including special events and challenges, there's always something new to discover in Clash Royale. So what are you waiting for? Download Clash Royale today and start battling. Whether you're a longtime fan of the Clash franchise or new to the world of mobile gaming, Clash Royale offers an engaging and entertaining experience that's sure to keep you coming back for more. Thank you so much Clash Royale for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the content. Certain add-ons are really useful when playing Solo Shuffle because you're not on voice with your teammates. Weak Hours comes really handy to that because it gives you a lot of information without having to communicate with your teammates. You can see, for example, that your healer is in CC just by a simple weak aura and a lot of sound alerts. I feel like weak auras are very useful to the game. It makes the game a lot easier because there's a lot of information happening all at once lately and the game is so fast paced. So I think playing without weak auras is such a disadvantage and I really recommend you to do that. You can also access all of my weak auras on Discord if you subscribe to my Twitch channel. All my personal weak arrows, my whole add-ons, my uh, user interface is available for up, for, is up for grabs and you can download it all if you're subscribed to my Twitch. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys already do this, but try to watch videos and learn from others. There are videos online of many players competing in Solo Shuffle. Most of the streamers are constantly streaming Solo Shuffle every single day. So watch these streams to learn different strategies, techniques and tricks that you can incorporate into your gameplay. A lot of times you need to target the right target selection. So don't just watch, uh, for example, my stream on how I'm playing, but you also watch what targets is he hitting. 
when does he swap when does he play defensive so try to watch streams and youtube videos of players that are really good at the game at, on top of the ladder but look at them in a learning and educational way all right so i think we have all been there we've all punched the desk we all got mad at the game i've been there many many times but try to stay calm and focused. Getting all wound up, getting angry at the game will not make you play better. It's very easy to get frustrated and give up when you're failing, but it's just important to stay calm and stay focused. If you have to, take a break and come back to the come back to your PC, go out for a walk, even though it's five to 10 minutes, grab something to eat if you had a bad lobby, because rage queuing is really, really bad for you, for your mental health and also for your mind state, because once you start losing a lot, you're gonna go down that rabbit hole and you're gonna end up i've been in a situation where i lost 700 rating in one day and um, the next day i just brought it all back so you have to stay really calm and have a peaceful mind when you're playing now i do think it's very good thing to be ambitious but you need to try to set realistic goals don't try to compete on the hardest challenges right away start with the easier challenges and work your way up if you want to hit 1800 first Aim for 1800 and enjoy it. After that, go for 1900. Don't instantly think you're going to join into Solo Shuffle and you're going to play at 2.4 and 2.8 and 3k. It's very demotivating and you're going to be very harsh on yourself. Enjoy the ride. Have fun along the way and just meet new friends. Play some 2v2, play some 3v3, play some Solo Shuffle. But set your goals to be realistic and give yourself the time for it because World of Warcraft is a very time-consuming game if there's a lot of information that you need to learn and it's not easy to actually climb up the ladder many people take months or years before they can actually get like a gladiator or like a rank one title so go easy on yourself if, if you're new to the game and just enjoy the experience and then probably the most important tip that i can give you is to learn from your mistakes every time you fail take a moment to analyze what went wrong and learn from your mistakes and try again it's very human of us to make mistakes but it's all about being as consistent as possible and to minimize the mistakes that you make in a game. So give yourself the time. Don't be too harsh on yourself, but try to analyze what went wrong. Be very uh, transparent to yourself. You don't have to say to other people, but know yourself. Okay, I made a mistake and I'm going to work on it the next game and I'm going to try to improve. Nobody is perfect. Even the best players in the world make huge mistakes, but it's all about minimizing those mistakes as much as possible and playing well throughout the games. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.